Bud Light's incredible collapse continues, and the company is pretty much just throwing nearly free beer at potential customers. Bud Light has been in a world of hurt ever since the company decided to team up with Dylan Mulvaney for a March Madness promo nearly two months ago. Mulvaney, who is known for mocking women and behaving like a little girl, posted an Instagram promo for Bud Light, and the backlash has been unrelenting ever since. Bud Light's incredible collapse continues, and the company is pretty much just throwing nearly free beer at potential customers. Bud Light continues to get crushed. One of the ways Anheuser-Busch and BL have attempted to recover is by offering insanely cheap prices to convince customers to return. Darren Rovell shared what might be the cheapest BL in America at just four cents a can. Yes, you read that correctly. A rebate promo being shared by the company brings down the case of a 24-pack to just a few pennies a can. Bud Light's incredible collapse continues, and the company is pretty much just throwing nearly free beer at potential customers. Bud Light has been in a world of hurt ever since the company decided to team up with Dylan Mulvaney for a March Madness promo nearly two months ago. The backlash is unrelenting. It's nothing short of incredible that we're at the end of May. And there's still no end in sight for Bud Light's problems. Most of the time, outrage and backlash on social media might last a day or two. It rarely has staying power. That's not the case with the beer brand under Anheuser-Busch. People are furious, and rightfully so, that the company decided to team up with Dylan Mulvaney. It's likely less about the transgender aspect by itself and more about the fact Mulvaney's entire shtick is wildly offensive and insulting to women. That's not the case with the beer brand under Anheuser-Busch. People are furious, and rightfully so, that the company decided to team up with Dylan Mulvaney. It's likely less about the transgender aspect by itself and more about the fact Mulvaney's entire shtick is wildly offensive and insulting to women. Bud Light continues to get crushed after teaming up with Dylan Mulvaney. The promo made women appear to be too stupid to understand sports and March Madness. Does anyone reading this know a single woman who doesn't know what college basketball is? Of course not. Bud Light decided to team up with a person large chunks of America find offensive and it's now paying the price. Sales are tanking, Anheuser-Busch is getting crushed, BL is having to buy back expired beer. The company is getting dragged daily online and there's no light at the end of the tunnel.